Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we are talking about a popular set of practices for IT service management. And you are right, it's ITIL. Keep watching to learn chief ITIL practices and advantages. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. What does ITIL stand for? The ITIL acronym stands for Information, Technology, Infrastructure, Library. It is a framework used to organize and manage IT services. ITIL is primarily used by medium and large organizations that run complex IT services to streamline their workflows. ITIL is adopted by US state and local governments, financial institutions such as Bank of America, universities, in particular, Yale University, and corporations like Walmart, IBM, etc. ITIL resources help business owners reform and organize IT management, change management, risk evaluation, planning, communication, negotiation, and communication with clients. The certification for ITIL is managed by Excellos, a private organization. You don't need it, though, to be able to implement ITIL in your company. Let's now review the ITIL process. Well, ITL is mostly focused on processes such as service strategy, service design, service transition, service operations, and continual service improvement. You can see their processes and functions right now, but let's discuss some of them in more detail. The first ITIL component is service strategy. We at Jelvix consider it as one of the defining stages of ITIL methodologies. It covers service portfolio management, financial management of IT service, demand management, business relationship management, and strategy management. We at Jelvix recommend the following resources to learn ITIL practices for service strategy, ITIL service strategy, and service strategy syllabus. The second component is ITIL service design. This module covers aspects of designing new IT services and reforming the existing ones. ITIL resources provide templates, examples, and document contents that help teams to build their full documentation for IT services. Do you use templates in your work, or do you prefer custom-made documents? Share your thoughts in the comments section. We recommend you check out the following resources on IT service design. ITIL service design and ITIL small-scale implementations. Actually, we have a useful guide on software design documents so we advise checking it out too. Find the link in the description box. The third component is service transition. Well, efficient service transition is the process of defining the service that no longer meets the expectations and redesigning it. ITIL methodologies describe triggers and indicators of transition, business requirements, and best practices. Among resources on ITIL service transition, we highlight ITIL service transition guide, and ITIL and information lifecycle. Now it's time to review the main principles of ITIL. Among them are, focus on the value, which means end result is prioritized over time spent. To determine value, companies should embrace real-time tracking and personal growth and learning should be encouraged. Keep it simple and practical. The focus should always be on optimizing users' experience. That's why, UI UX design team should participate in the process of forming requirements. The user experience should be tested and verified through the entire life cycle. And adopting the best testing practices and complying with recent standards are the priority of ITIL methodology. Start where you are, which means to evaluate current practices and determine what works and what doesn't. Start collecting data to evaluate existing infrastructure before starting the transformation and identify the risks and challenges of the transformation. Work holistically. Examine the costs for automation and redesign before applying the theory of ITIL. Encourage departments to collaborate throughout the ITIL processes and research practices that your competitors use. Progress iteratively. And for that, embrace agile practices. Adopt tools for continuous delivery and integration and get user and tester feedback for every iteration. 
The last principle of ITIL is to collaborate and promote visibility. Who benefits from ITIL? First of all, it's organizations. ITIL allows organizations to plan and execute digital transformation and outsmart competitors. For example, if a company needs to innovate management and development processes, ITIL tells them how to do it correctly, from choosing the timing for such a change to measuring its final result. Managers will benefit from adopting documentation, planning, and measurement practices described in the ITIL library, and developers. After all, when business owners and managers have a clear vision of the team's growth, developers can focus on innovating. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix is a software engineering and IT consulting company. We help top brands accelerate digital transformation and push their industry forward with innovative software solutions. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share the experience of the best practices for IT service management. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.